Hey guys, and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be three different ways that you can organize different spaces in your house. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I organize kids shoes or your own shoes if they need to be organized as well as your shower, your bathtub, and then also underneath your sink because you know, we store a lot of stuff underneath there it is one thing I've been needing to organize for a while now. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. I hope that it will give you guys ideas. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. All right, guys. So the first thing dun, 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 that we're going to organize is this coat closet. We're going to leave the coats alone for right now. That will be in the future. But we need to organize all of the kids' shoes. So you guys can see there's three different bins in here. So one is supposed to be for Nolan, Scarlet, or Scarlet and Harlow, but you can see they got all mixed together. And actually there's another bin over there. And you can see it is not organized at all. We even have this shoe organizer to somewhat help us stay organized, but I need to go through all of these shoes, not only go through them and get rid of ones that no longer fit the kids, but also take everything out and reorganize them in these bins like you guys just saw me putting those together which let me just say this took a second for me to figure out I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so in case you do get these organizers you'll know what to do and you can skip that and skip a few minutes of trying to figure it out um, so I'll show you guys here in a minute because I got two boxes. Each box comes with 12. And what I love about these is you guys can see how deep they are. So I can fit a couple of shoes in there. Um, and you can stack them. The only thing is they don't stay together on the sides. But you could obviously put something right here like a command strip or something. But yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and put all of these. So it comes in three separate pieces. You have this piece and then the door to open the shoes or the container and then a vent for the back so first thing you're going to do is just open this up this is so hard to do with my hands and i have my tripod over there doing a time lapse and then you're just going to bend the corners that were laying flat so let me show you so you have a perfect rectangle and then you're just going to take the little tabs that are right here of course the camera can't, there we go. Does it want to focus? Didn't want to focus. Still doesn't want to focus. <laughs> it doesn't know what to focus on because I have to keep moving it. So just put all these tabs down like so. And what I found was super helpful was you take the inside of this piece and then just put it over like that. And you guys are gonna hear in a second, hold on. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to put it into the inside and those little tabs are all going to snap into place. Put it right here, I'm snapping into place. So just make sure that, I think I got it. They're all snapped into place. And then of course, put the tabs down again on the other side and repeat the, oh, it wasn't done snapping. <laughs> repeat the process, but this time, with the other piece. If you have to, put your hand in there to get, there we go. And then repeat the process.
so I got all of the shoes organized. I went through all the shoes that don't fit them anymore or they're not in good condition um, to save for like Scarlet or even Harlow from like some of Aria's shoes. And then I decided to leave the organizer here because I'm thinking about getting one more so I can organize Fletcher's shoes as well. He only has a handful of shoes compared to the girls who have a ton, especially Scarlet because she's able to use or wear a lot of Harlow's because they're only one size one size apart from each other. So now I'm going to put everything into the closet. Like I said, there's enough space where I could definitely have one more or even maybe possibly stack. I have to see how much room I have, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I don't know how I got so lucky, but it actually ended up fitting in here perfectly. Just a little bit of space, I would say like a couple inches. So I could definitely, if I wanted to, if I got one more, well, there's 12 that come in it, I don't know. Now I'm like rethinking it, because I'm thinking I could have one right there, right there, right there, right there, so I could almost have like another layer. But I think this is good, because we're able to fit everybody's shoes, and we even have this for even more room. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend these because the kids can just come in here, get their shoes out, put it back in, and it looks so much better. It looks 100 times better. All right guys, so the next thing that I am going to be organizing is the shower, this situation right here. I actually got these shelves, I think a couple years ago, and I loved them at first, but Quickly, I noticed they're a little awkward, so it's hard to fit a whole bunch of stuff on them. And they also started to pull away, um, which is actually the same thing that I'm about to show you guys in a minute, but I got the same thing for Aria, and it's actually held up really well so far. So let me show you guys what I got, because it's the same thing that I got for the kids' bathroom, more specifically for Aria's stuff, and it's in here. So I actually got these same shelves for Aria, because she needed something to put all of her products on, or organize all of her products, because her siblings started to get into her stuff. She's getting to that age now, where she's very particular, she likes her own stuff and doesn't want her younger siblings getting into it. So I got her some shelves and I'll show you guys a B-roll of it and she's like organized everything. And as I was putting it together or like putting it up for her, I was like, hmm, I want one of those for my bathroom and for all of my products as well. So I got the same exact shelves and you guys saw, I just showed you the ones I had before. They're awkward. I didn't put them on correctly. I think they're somewhat slanted and Aria has a ton of products on hers and it's held up really well whereas those have not held up as well. So, so we're going to put this together and reorganize all of my products and try to get that off at the same time because that stuff is so sticky. But as I was reading the user manual when I put Aria's together that if you need help removing it just to get a hair dryer and it will kind of loosen up or heat up the adhesive and it should come right off. So if you get this for future reference, if you want to remove it because it is very, very sticky and hard to get off, just put a blow dryer on it or a hair dryer and it will come off. I'm be super candid anytime something like this happens. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, it was so easy to get off and I tried the hair dryer. I tried like so many different things. Frank ended up coming in there and using whatever this thing is to help get it off and it did work. So now I'm just going to rinse all of that away and then put my new shelves up and hopefully I don't regret it later in the future when I go to take off those shelves.
final result of how the shelves turned out, which was able to fit all of my stuff and I still have a little bit more space. It cleared up all of this right here and it just looks so much better in here already. Be able to organize everything and not only that, fit everything. They come with little hooks as well so you can hang your loofahs or sponges, shower cap, and I love it. I love it so much and it definitely looks more organized than the previous shelves that I had and I love that I can fit so much stuff on it. I actually have some space behind here as well if I wanted to put some more products there, some space right here. Actually, all of those scrubs are Aria's that I took, or should I say borrowed. So um, those will probably go back in the kids' bathroom. So now we're gonna go to the next thing that I will be organizing. All right guys, so I don't know how much I am going to be able to talk during this part of organizing the house um, because the kids are currently downstairs and it has been loud all afternoon but i'm either going to show some sped up music or a voiceover regardless but you guys can tell the next thing that i'm going to be organizing is under the sink for the most part it is semi organized like i do have some bins i have these two bins in here for uh towels hand towels and also sponges and magic erasers still not organized you know i just have random things thrown over there random things thrown over there and then i do have some things that i got off of amazon as you guys know i will be sure to link everything down below for you guys that i, I show in this video but i got these damage free hanging i would say basket what would you call this bin i would say bin so you can put all different kind of stuff in these i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this yet but we're gonna figure it out as we go. Um, so I got two of those, and then I also got these spray bottle hangers. So I got a pack of three of them. They come with two, and I don't think I will need all of them, but it's just a way to hang up your spray bottles. So I have a few in here that I wanna hang up that I use on a regular basis. We have information about our house right here, so I don't think I'm gonna put anything on the top part of this cabinet door maybe just the bottom and then obviously I have this whole door as well and then in here I have another organizer that I am going to put together and I'll show you guys what that looks like All right guys, so for the rest of this video, I am going to have to do a voiceover because it just got way too noisy and I know you guys don't wanna hear screaming and everything in the background. So first, I am taking everything out from underneath the sink, giving it a nice wipe down. It's probably has not been wiped down or been clean since we moved. Um, but I am now putting together this basket or this bin this drawer shelf i don't know whatever you want to call it i'm so bad when it comes to describing things and then i kind of gave up way too early and was like frank can you just put it together for me please so i had him come in and help um just like he helped me in the bathroom and he put it a lot faster or together a lot faster than i could so you gotta give them major props for that. So I really like this because you can slide them out and then they have like grippies on the bottom. So when you do put it underneath your sink or wherever you're putting it, I think this would be great underneath your bathroom as well. Um, when you go to slide out those drawers, the whole thing is not going to move. And I ended up ke keeping those clear bins with the kitchen towels and the sponges. And I really love these spray holders. I had some extras left over, so I'm either gonna put some in the laundry room or somewhere else, but I love them so much. They definitely come in handy. And then I ended up, like I said, putting the two caddies, that's what they're called, they're not bins, caddies on the opposite drawer. And I also cleaned out any products that was old or I was no longer using. And you guys, look, it simplified it and made it look so much more organized just by getting a few things to go underneath the sink. So again, I will be linking all those products down below. I hope that this video gave you guys some organizational ideas and I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.